So, hi everyone. So, uh, my name is Jason. So today I'm going to talk about the uh, AI automation project for this uh, local gener generative AI course. And my talk will be basically automating the PDF invoice data transformed to Google Sheet using uh, Zapier and ChatGPT integration. And this is a brief agenda on my talk. And then let's let me just get started with the uh, the business problem. So motivation for this project was to basically to streamline the tedious and time consuming manual entry uh, data processing, and also to improve accuracy and efficiency of manual invoice data entry by reversing AI tool to automate you know these repetitive tasks and free up the time. So the pain points trying to solve with this uh, project is basically uh, you know labor intensive manual data entry and saving time to focus on more other important tasks and improving the data quality errors and also the you know improving the inconsistent formatting of the invoices when when processing the data so the expected outcome is structured data in a tabular format and then this will be basically easy to aggregate and perform data analytics with uh, you know pivot table etc so the tool used in this project is um, ChatGPT by OpenAI for uh, use for formatting the parts text data from PDF invoices. And then the Zephyr is used to orchestrate the sequential flow of tasks using the multiple app uh, connector or plugin, which is available from Zephyr. And let me just show you the, the data set overview. So basically the input data that I have is the PDF invoices of the mockup data which contain these 11 targeted data fill for data, data extraction, which include uh, invoice number, bill to invoice date, quantity, you know, the, the, the amount, et cetera, as you can see here, it's highlighted in this uh, box. And the, uh, the Zephyr workflow, this is the Zephyr workflow that I designed for this uh, automation process. So let me just briefly explain the processes, right? So what happened is that, so this, four processes gets triggered every time when there's a new PDF file is uploaded in a specific Google Drive folder. And then, and then after that, what it does is that uh, this PDF file needs, needs to get converted into a text format. So basically it gets converted in the text format in a different uh, location of the Google Drive folder. And then I actually embedded the uh, you know, you can actually either do it by JavaScript or Python code, doesn't matter, but I embedded the uh, Python code to simply split and parse the text data. And then basically I utilize a chat GPT for basically further format the text into those desired data fields that I wanted to extract. And then finally, uh, using a text formatter and the Zephyr basically enabled me to split the each targeted data field, like the giant text into a, like a new separate line lines of the uh, uh, data. And then finally, I can map this, uh, the final formatted parse text data into a uh, Google sheet, which is I uh, predefined in the template with the, those targeted column that I want to create. And then it will basically insert a record, like a, like a one, one row at a time when it gets processed. So this is the, uh, the output of the automation results. So as I mentioned before, each new PDF file uploaded in Google Drive triggers the automation process. And the automation extract predefined and relevant data fill from the PDF invoices into a structural table in a Google Sheet. And then the Google Sheet acts as a you know, mini centralized repository of invoices. And then as you can see in this uh, sample screenshot, how these uh, records get processed and then you know, collected in the uh, predefined column within the uh, Google Sheet. So for discussion, um, so the conclusion is basically um, automating the process of PDF invoices with these like a generative AI tool like ChatGPT and Zephyr significantly reduce the manual effort. And also it improves accuracy and enhance efficiency by eliminating the uh, manual data entry so that business can save time and resources on other important tasks. But there is a limitation is that uh, this process that I, the workflow that I designed it has an automation processing capacity, uh, which means that it can only process one PDF file at a time. So that's the limitation of uh, this one. And then the other thing is um, for my input data, I had a same consistent format of the PDF invoices. 
but it will be difficult, I think, to handle if there is an inconsistency in like you know different types of PDF invoices from uh, I don't know different company or whatever different merchant. Then it's going to be hard to process. And the other thing I haven't tested out is also the language. Like if it is, what if the language is in not English, but if it is different language like French, French, Korean, whatever, then it will be more difficult to you know handle the situation. So for the future improvement, I think you know. Looking for implementing the advanced out of the text parsing algorithm may be help, and also incorporating the optical character recognition technology to directly extract the text from the PDF might be a feasible solution. And the other thing for you know looking for improvement is refine the ChatGPT instruction prompt for a, a clear data standard deviation for you know consistent formatting for extracting the data, and then. Finally, uh, maybe compare and explore other tool for batch processing, like, I don't know, like Microsoft Power Automate might be uh, one feasible way to look into. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Yeah, thank you for listening to my presentation. Thank you, Tyson. Um, I, I think this is uh, very well done. Uh, thanks for preparing the presentation. Uh, I think it's very well organized. Um, I followed it pretty well. Um, the only question I have is, uh, well, actually, I have two questions. Uh, first of all, mm -hmm. did you run into any kind of uh, chat GPT uh, hallucination problem? Uh, not hallucination problem, but I had I had I had a bit of an issue. So actually, let let me show you my appendix slide. So, can you see this slide? Yes. Yeah. So basically, this is the instruction that I put it in the chat GPT, like, you know, in the, within the, uh, you know, the Zephyr workflow, right? So I, I wouldn't call this a hallucination, but the problem that I run into is basically, you know, when I'm, when I'm extracting the data, right? I ask, you know, chat GPT to, okay, can you format the, the text parse text data in this format, right? But then the thing is that I didn't want, like, I only want uh, chat GPT to tell me, like, extract the value, right? Not these column. I mean, they like a column header, right? So that's the problem that I run into. Like I had hard a hard problem trying to you know figure out okay, how can I remove on, uh, how can I remove these uh, column header but only extract the value? Because the thing is, um, you know, in the the in the um, if I don't if I don't put this instruction, what what actually happened is that um, let me actually show you something. Just give me a second. So if I don't put this instruction, what happened was that like it was basically extracting the data, but you see here right now, right? It has only uh, just a bit, just uh, the value, right? But then before I put that uh, the instruction, like the, the prompt instruction clearly, what it was doing is it was also extracting the, the column header from the PDF invoices, which I didn't want that, right? But I don't think I can call this a hallucination. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was wondering like if we can, uh, can the output be be some kind of JSON format. Uh, so you're right. I think it's doable, but I haven't tested it. Yeah, I I think so. Yeah, because I don't know if the if, if the the Zephyr support like a I don't know like a, if the does it have a specific like a JSON related uh like a workflow? I'm not sure, but yeah, that's something I, I haven't looked into. That. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, but yeah, okay. I think it's doable. I I think yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, and uh, another comment I have is uh, you meant you know you mentioned some limitations, and right. potentially using OCR tools. Yeah, so one one of my uh recommendation is it, it, you can definitely uh, <clears throat> uh do it in a more sophisticated way. For example, right. if ChatGPT doesn't, uh, I think you can have some sort of data validation step like after the parsing right by chat gpt right. uh mm -hmm. and if the quality doesn't meet uh you know it doesn't pass the validation step uh and then maybe you can <clears throat> you can uh send the you know the request to uh to some sort of ocr tool you know amazon web services has uh, ocr tools and you can um zapier allows you to uh, add a step to connect to aws lambda function 
which is basically an API oh, call. Oh. So you can implement okay. all of your OCR or you can even train your own machine learning models and you can deploy that in a Lambda function, right? It's a serverless function. Oh, I see. Uh, and then Zapier can just call that API. So you can do complete like, you know, customization if you want, mm -hmm. but it's just uh, a little bit more advanced. Um, but right. what you've achieved in a short amount of time is uh, is really good. Well done. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ishawa, for the the tips and recommendation. Yeah, I'll definitely look into it in the future for <laughs> Lambda. But no I think that the whole require more knowledge on me to like try to configure that. I think. But yeah. Yeah, we use this in uh, something. We do something similarly uh, internally to process, you know, invoices as well. So this is actually a very practical use case. Yeah. Oh, very okay. helpful. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah.